Hey people, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. On the last Wagwan from the media, Jesus Christ, God forgive me for call out your name in vain, but may have to call down for you. People, called church in Montego Bay, Kahal Yahweh or Beit Yahweh, anyone know it as the same thing, people. Over 20 children and adults police have to take from the compound because it's been in it is currently being investigated right now they find one woman in the church with her throat slashed a lot of persons in the church injured pastor even a sacrifice them one picnic i make young picnic i'm married jesus christ people i don't know what to think about this god no jesus father Every woman turn picnic can enjoy their childhood. Picnic can enjoy their childhood. They must force the young children them into intimacy. And then I have them get married at the age of 16. By persons who are not even certified married officers. Marriage officers, I should say. Why? God? We need some serious, serious help in this world, man. Tell you. Serious help. And I only got a loan can help me. Over 20 children in the people, me can't even believe. The children, not, them not even living in a war. They want favorable setting. Favorable setting. Oh, God. I don't even know what, where to start or how to feel about this. Depending on them not get formal education, they're not immunized as required by parents. What are you doing to your kids? What are you doing to your kids? Then discipline in the most inhuman ways they can think of. Mighty God. People, and I say for myself, one family member even come out and speak about the whole thing about when she was there and her experience and so forth. And me just glad to say the police them have this matter now and I'm investigate it. I'm just go to the children them. Why? I got I forgot God have figured just be on the inside, give them knowledge, give them the courage, give them the strength because I can't even imagine what those kids went through. They didn't want this for themselves. And probably this is just a norm for them because I let them grow up and I see. Oh Lord. People I I'm just watch her go on you. Um good evening everybody. Uh I'm sure by this everybody has heard the news that um Kahal Yahweh was raided and uh, some 40 people were taken out of the house you see this right here this i used to go to this church and none of this was here for one i can say i am very glad that they got arrested because they're doing some craziness in the church sleeping with the kids marrying off the freaking kids before time yeah sleep you know what one of the pastors is even sleeping with his daughter feeling up in daughter and them something there yeah I am glad I left. I am glad also that they got locked up. I hope they all get what is coming to them. And you, Sister Ulri, you Miss Bitch. Welcome viewers, welcome back to the channel. So I, a past lady of the church who used to go to church and my people. The church read them read early this morning. She speak out and she say yo are some crazy things are going in at the church, my people, and she glad to yo police and soldier read this church because they were marry off the young girl before time. Pastor feel up her own daughter and my peeps. Remember me tell us so this would have come like all one next call Pastor Kevin Smith. Remember me tell us so I'm hearing I'm hearing that um the children are who was in the church them in um some form of police custody right now. You understand my boy we said them a pastor, you know. Them pray upon the little girl, them you know. Bad, 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 them just pray upon them my people. You know, it was very disgusting. So I'm gonna hear what the lady had to say about the whole situation about the church. Make me in the task down below. Um good evening everybody. Uh I'm sure by this everybody has heard the news that um Kahal Yahweh was raided and uh, some 40 people were taken out of the house. You see this right here? This I used to go to this church and none of this was here. 
for one I can say I am very glad that they got arrested because they are doing some craziness in the church sleeping with the kids marrying off the freaking kids before time yeah sleep you know what one of the pastors is even sleeping with his daughter feeling up in daughter and them something there yeah I am glad I left I am glad also that they got locked up I hope they all get what is coming to them Ulri, you miss bitch you most of all I hope you get definitely welcome to you kill your husband and they with the blood clot young boy after you take G's and P you know what I'm glad that they got them though because guess what soon and very soon this fortress that they're building they're probably going to have to throw bombs in there to get them out and you know there's going to be a bunch of casualty but yes I applaud I applaud that they lock them up all of them close the, lock them up and charge them disgusting they are disgusting people yeah man my peeps are some crazy things are going in the church you know, some crazy things are going in the church and as the lady say yo the pastor do some things to him own a daughter plus big ola uh, married woman asleep with look boy my people them things are not right in a church them things are definitely not right so as I say the greatest thing is some like somebody spot what are going or them realize what are going and them alert the police and the soldier and police and the soldier them running upon them early this morning them people so who forget lock up or get lock up who forget charge I go get charged and they don't know say hopefully them can do this more so the church the so these so called churches we say them are, um do this and do that you understand them definitely need to get caught and lock up and lock down anyway still the people make me children have been removed from the controversial Yahweh church in St. James today following allegations of child abuse and child marriages. The multi-agency operation has sparked fresh concerns over why the cult-like facility is still in operation. But as Kalisha Williams reports, the Office of the Children's Advocate says due process has to be followed. Problems in paradise? Security forces swooping down on the Bayith Yahweh in Paradise District St. James Wednesday morning. 40 people, including 22 children, were removed from the facility. Children's advocate Diane Gordon Harrison explained why. So this morning really was about um, doing the necessary to have the inquiries made and thereafter to determine what happened. Um, there were some children who were processed, um, having been taken from the compound and placed before the court so that the court could make an inquiry and we will determine the next steps um, after that process goes through. This is the same facility that was raided in 2019 following reports of child abuse and child marriages. As for Wednesday's operations, we were told the concerns are similar to 2019. But I want to stress that these are allegations at this stage and so there are no findings or firm positions. It's really just that, of course, if that kind of report comes to the fore, there is an obligation on the stakeholders to make the relevant checks. And so that was what this morning was about. However, the operation conducted under the watchful eyes of residents only reignited concerns about whether the authorities have been monitoring the facility and why it is still in operation. And even more intriguing, the church is in the same community where now deceased controversial pastor Kevin Smith had his cult-like church. Um, always wondering what are they afraid of of stepping in because when they stepped into Dr. S um, Pastor Smith he was just supposed to go next door and check what is going on over there as well and you need to talk to them and tell them to come and make regular checks because after today it's going to up my game. While residents have no proof of the events happening at the church, we were told the followers have always acted strangely. I've been living here maybe for two years now, and no one then I'll see like the older men walking with the girls, maybe 12, 13 years old. And they just walk and they look down, they don't say hi or anything. Meanwhile, Mrs. Gordon Harrison explained that the authorities can only move when they have intelligence. Because people have certain fundamental rights, um, people have certain decisions that they take in terms of parental responsibility on how they rear their children. So unless you have a basis 
upon which to shut down, so to speak, or to separate families. That's not something that's done very lightly at all. And so the responsible thing is that in the face of allegations, and what you have to remember is that the persons on the compound are saying that these allegations are not in fact true. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. And the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFSA, says the children removed from the church are being accommodated at a safe location and will be provided the necessary intervention soon. They are between 1 and 17 years old. Acting CEO of the agency, Michelle McIntosh Harvey, says the children were in need of care and protection as stipulated under Section 8 of the Child Care and Protection Act, CCPA. She also implored all citizens to report known or suspected cases of abuse to 211 or via WhatsApp 